Oh, is it recording? Okay. Um. Hi, I'm Kathy Serrano. <laughs> hey. And. Last week. Wait, let me see. Yeah, I believe it was last week. Last week, I received. I let Jesus Christ into my life. Yay. <laughs> I let Jesus Christ into my life, and honestly, I'm never gonna, uh, I'm never gonna regret that. Never, because that's probably the best choice I've made in a while. So, I just got back from Rolling Hills Youth Camp from, in Cincinnati, Alabama, uh, about, like, a few days ago, and on the last service, Dan, the, um, person who t talks, <laughs> I don't know how to call it, pastor, there we go, I think, yeah. He told us to make a video about what impact this camp has made on you and what you've learned. So, this is my video. And, okay, let's just start with momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity. So, mass meaning, like, a big group of people, and velocity meaning, like, how fast it travels. And, um... Momentum can really make a big impact on the world. I, and I'm not meaning scientifically. I'm meaning, like, spiritually. Like, if you have that momentum to be able to, um, you know, make a difference in the world, then it could actually happen. But you can't have that unless you're an initiator. Oh, well, what is an initiator? Well, an initiator is... There's two types of Christians. There's a responder and an initiator. A responder is, like, kind of someone who follows the crowd. And, like, when somebody else is worshiping God or, you know, doing a Bible study, you'd be like, oh, hey, I want to join too. And they wait for an opportunity to, you know, arrive so they can make a difference. But initiators kind of do the opposite. They're, like, leaders. They're the ones who are... They're the ones making differences in the world. They're the ones starting movements that have bunches and bunches of people join them. They don't wait for that opportunity. They, they go search for it. They go try to find one. Because they understand that life, it's short. It's, it's like a vapor. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a vapor. And I, it's, yeah. Being an initiator, it's it's going to be hard because if you're an initiator, sometimes you're going to be by yourself. You're going to be standing alone. You're going to be the only one standing up for what you believe in, but that's what kind of an initiator is all about. And I honestly really do want to be that person. All I've ever wanted to do was to be that person. And, yeah, it's, I know it's going to be really, really hard, but... I'm definitely on the process, and I'm trying to get there. And I'm trying to get my sister to come with me, too, because she went to the camp just like me. And so we're both trying to do this together. Like, yeah, we're going to be initiators. And, yeah. So, I'm trying to think. Okay. When I came to the camp, I was just like, okay, well... This is just going to be a normal camp. It's going to be kind of fun, I guess. There's going to be games. There's going to be activities. I guess I'll have fun. In Alabama, bugs, disgusting toilets, nasty things all over the floor. <laughs> uh, but now I love Alabama for the record. But, yeah, I honestly thought it wasn't going to be a great experience. But once we came to the first service, like, in the afternoon... Um, Dan, he really, really spoke to me because I realized that I haven't been living my life right. I haven't been making the best choices. I haven't been, you know, putting, giving my whole self to God. And if you want to be happy in life and you want to be able to, you know, have a good life, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be able to give God everything you have, no matter what. It, you you can't keep holding on to those little things that are going to take you away from him. You have to just give it all away because it's just going to make you happy. You're going to realize that material things, cool cell phones, laptops, clothes, shoes, whatever, 
it's not going to make you as happy as being able to say, you know what, I'm a Christian, and I love God with all my heart, and I don't care what other people think about me, because I'm going to show it anyway. That's, that's definitely the type of person I really want to be aimed for. And making this video and putting it up on YouTube, there's going to be some people, you know, I forgot what they're called, but they don't believe in, like, anything. They're going to be like, oh, whatever, God is just, you know, it's fake. But in my heart, I know God is real. Now I realized in my heart that it he's real because before camp, I already knew, like, kind of, like, knowledge that God's there. I was raised to, you know, I was raised, like, in a Catholic background. I was raised, okay, God is there. He made the earth, bam, period, done, you know? So, but then there were so many other questions that I wanted to know, but I never, I never really took, like, the time or, you know, the effort to care or to question them, you know, and, but even though I was doing all that, I honestly thought I was a good Christian. I honestly thought I was doing the right thing when, quite frankly, quite frankly, I really, really wasn't, and I'm so glad that I came to the camp because, I realized how many mistakes I've made in my life and how many wrong things I've been doing that I thought were right. And now I really do understand that God, having a relationship with Him, it's probably the most important thing you should do. And I'm definitely on my way there. And just yesterday I was reading the Bible and I was reading uh, Acts 2, I mean Acts chapter 2. Um yeah, I'm starting to read the Bible now. I'm, I'm pretty happy because they gave us these little momentum packets where you could like read Acts and then, um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to start doing that. Um, also, to be an initiator or just to be a good person in general, you can't be judging yourself. You can't be judging yourself or comparing yourself to other people like, okay, well, at least I'm not doing drugs like so-and-so, or at least I'm not doing alcohol, or at least I'm still doing my homework and I'm still going to school and I'm not arrested. At least I'm still not doing that. It doesn't matter because in the end, all that matters is you and your life because God's not going to be comparing you to other people. When you're, when you're up in heaven, he's just going to be like, okay, what did you do wrong? Uh, well, okay, I yelled at my sister and blah, 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 but at least I didn't do drugs like so-and-so. God's just going to be like, so? You, it's, you still did wrong. You still, you don't have the right to judge yourself because you still do sin, and all sin is equal, you know? I actually learned that. I, I realized that all, I found out that all sin is equal, and I honestly didn't know that. So, yeah, and there are going to be some times when you want to make the right choice, but it's going to be really, really hard because everybody else is going one way and you know that you have to go the other way. And it's hard standing by yourself and being alone and standing up for what you believe in, you know. But that's that's going to make you a stronger person. It's going to make you a better Christian and it's going to make you an amazing initiator. So it's, wow, it's going to be hard. And now I'm realizing how hard it is going to be talking about it right now, but it's okay, because I just want to make God happy, you know, because I, now I realize that he should be the number one priority in my life, or else I'm not going to be blessed, I'm not going to be happy, I'm not going to be living the life that I want to, because I'm not going to be with God, and God's just, basically, God is the road to your happiness, it's the road to your blessed life, it's the road to your initiative life. It's it's the best road you can take, you know? And, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of something else to say. Um, he, oh yeah. You have to take away, oh yeah, never mind, I already said that. <laughs> um... Okay, I got like five more minutes on this thing. Uh, think, think, think. Hi. <laughs> um, well, 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And sometimes you're going to think that God isn't there. Sometimes you're going to think that he's not answering your prayers, that they're just like kind of basically bouncing off the sky. They're not going to heaven. You know, people are going to, you're going to think that because you're not going to have your answers prayer, your prayers answered all the time. And God, sometimes things in life, they're going to happen and bad things happen. And you're going to think, God, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making me go through this? But it's not God that does that. It's just life that brings it upon itself. It, God, God's not going to make your parents divorced on purpose. God's not going to make your grandma die on purpose. God's not going to make you fail this big, important test on purpose. Life brings that upon itself. And you can't be blaming God because God, all he wants to do is love you. And all he wants to do is have a relationship with you and care about you because he died on this on the cross for us for our sins not just for everybody's sins but for your sins too and you are like important in his life because he cares about every single each and one of you you know and uh yeah you just gotta really understand that and although in God when you like start doing wrong things or you realize that you're not doing good in life, God's going to give you some big signs, like some big crazy signs to, you know, be like, hello, wake up. I'm, I got to be in the picture too. I have to be in your life or you're not going to be happy. Okay. So sometimes bad things happen because he needs to wake you up. Sometimes it happens because it just happens, but you can't be blaming everything on God because he made this world for you. He made your life. He made you who you are. And he made you blessed. And you just got to be happy with what you have, you know. And I really found out this week that I, it's really important to be closer to God. And I'm so happy that I was able to go to the camp because it woke me up. It made me realize that I'm, I need to start living. I got to change my life. And so when I came to camp, I uh, things it, it got thrown in my face and I realized I now I understand what I really have to do in life so I just wanted to thank you for listening to this video because I would say a lot more but I only have like 15 minutes oh well I have 13 well okay one more last thing I guess God well momentum Moments, mo oh yeah, moments create a movement. Mm -hmm. Moments create a movement. So that means one moment in life could change the world. And just, you gotta be that strong person. You gotta be like, okay, I wanna change the world. I wanna be closer to God. I wanna have that relationship with Him. I wanna be able to stand up and be like, I love God, and I don't care what you think about me. So, that's what you got to do. And there's no other way to say it. You just got to have that relationship with God. Because otherwise, you won't see what life is truly about. It's not about material things. It's not about your boyfriend. It's not about your friends, your popularity, your clothes. None of that matters. All that matters is up there, you know. So, thank you for listening to my video. And I hope that... All those people who are listening, maybe I made you think differently about life. So, yeah. God bless. Bye.